Okay, Tri-Tool Technologies can also provide you solutions for your clamping and lineup clamps. We have all Hondas here. We're gonna show you three different versions. This is a top liner. This can go pipe to pipe or you can change half of it and do pipe to fitting. They're all available in uh, carbon steel, aluminum or stainless steel. This is available in a two inch all the way up to 60 inch. Uh, we are gonna be doing the four inch pipe schedule 10. Then you got the gen three and this will go from two inch to 12 inch in this version. We're gonna do a pipe to fitting. This also can do pipe to pipe, but this will do pipe to fitting, not just 90s. It can do 45s and Ts. Then we'll go ahead and jump over and we'll do the top dog. This is a weld on uh, dog that you can do your high, low and gap with. Now we can jump over here to the Elite and it's just like the Gen 3. The big difference is it has clocking bolts. So once you have your pipe or tube all fit up with high low and gap and you find out you need fall or miter in it uh, or your high low is bad in one spot you can simply why it's clamped up take an allen wrench and turn this either direction within 10 degrees right here we have a top liner wall honda clamp this can be available in carbon steel stainless steel or aluminum this can get your high low and your gap right uh, this version goes from uh, two inch all the way to 60 inch. To mention when you start getting the bigger ones, there's actually a lifting eye to help you. So when you go around your pipe, you have a lift, lifting apparatus to hold on to. We pull back our clamps. We're gonna do this on four inch schedule 10 pipe. Kinda put your pipe in the center here. Uh, but what you want to make sure when you get it is that your gap bolts have some gap in them. So then that way you have adjustment. You don't want to have them tied up against themselves. It comes with one wrench to run this whole thing. Uh, and then also to mention is the sizes of these as it jumps. This is a four to eight wrench. When you jump to bigger sizes, they have larger hardware, but it'll always be stamped on the side. Okay, you go ahead and tighten up your clamping hardware here and the good thing about these is they are size specific which helps round up your ovality on larger diameters it can help round up to schedule 40 on the smaller diameters it's usually schedule 10 and okay, we'll go ahead and put our other side of the matching tube in there whether they've been counterboard or not trying to get the best fit up tightening the other hardware so if we had, you know, a long stretch of pipe, 40, 50, 60 feet, you can open this up and clamp it over top of a double joint. What you're trying to do is just, you're gonna get your gap close, just like that, because there's a lot of adjustment. Go ahead and tighten this one up. It's rounding it up. So now we got it rounded up. We wanna have, go ahead and check and you can check your high-low and then the gap and you wanna get them close. What you wanna do when you go to do the high-low is even though it has bolts on both sides of this, you don't really use both sides at first when you dial it in. You just wanna use one side and as you tighten this and loosen the other side, it's gonna pull the pipe up and down, okay? So you're not using both sides until you get all done fit up and then you'll tighten this other side to lock it in. So go ahead and check your gap. You're just gonna tighten these, running your gap up. Check your gap like that. Take your gap over there. So now we got our gap pretty close. You can go ahead and start checking high, low. Stick your gauge in through the gap, flip it up, check your high-low. Looks like we want to go down that way. So we'll go ahead and loosen this top one. You can do this actually by hand. You don't even have to use a wrench. It's almost easier to get it close without the wrench because you can manipulate it really easy just by hand. So now we got our high-low and our gap really good there. Uh, we can go ahead and snug up this other side. 
And all that's doing is locking the joints together. Now, if you had to pull, you can go ahead and still use a wrench and tighten when you got your high low and be able to push that. Now that it's locked in, you're using that and drawing it together. From the top liner, we'll go ahead and jump over to this Gen 3. Same theory setting it up. Difference is instead of a wrench, we're using socket head cap screws. There's just two wrenches to use it. It's 3 8 and 5 16 Same theory. You want to get your fitting in there. We'll go ahead and we already had this clamped up. You're going to have the one side loose, the other side just taunt. You use your wrench and you're just pushing and pulling to get your gap with these bolts right here. And we get this sucked up, we get our gap so we're close. Go ahead and use your gap gauge. Check our high low. Just gonna go ahead and tighten and loosen each side, pushing it around. Now we got our fit up good. We want to go ahead and just lock these other sides down. Now we got the perfect fit up, even on a fitting. Okay, so that was the Gen 3 we just talked about and it can go from two to 12 inch. We're gonna jump over here to the top dog, talk about that. Top dog is a weld on dog and they're available in turnbuckle sizes at three quarter and one inch. Functions the same way, except for having a rounding clamp. This is when you get into heavier wall and you wanna be able to use it. You just go on the top of your pipe, able to tackle it onto here, use that for your adjustment, and then also for your high-low, pushing and pulling it the same direction. Okay, now we'll jump over here to the Elite clamp. This clamp is very similar to the Gen 3. Same size range, 2 to 12 available in a stainless carbon or aluminum. Uh, the difference with this, besides being able to do its pipe to fitting, doesn't matter if it's a 90 or a T, once you're all set up and you got your gap and your high-low good, if your high low is bad in a quadrant, or you find out that you need some fall or some miter to your pipe, the bonus about this one is it has two bolts and you can just turn this and you can clock this to your fitting without releasing your fit up within 10 degrees. So this was the Elite showing you that. Uh, we'll kind of roll backwards. The top dog we showed you, it's a weld on. We got the Gen 3, which is pipe to fitting, not just pipe to 90. It could be a 45 or it could be a T. And then your top liner. Um, so we have these for available for sale or for rent. Uh, we can also bring them out with us when we come to do a service job and do your cutting and beveling.